Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Today in this quick video, I'm going to show you a very cool feature in Adobe Photoshop, how you can resize the canvas of your image and actually make it look exact amount of pixels. For example, if you want to make it 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720, whatever you want to do, it will be easy to do. And this is one of the quickest way you can resize the image. If you know how you want to do it, of course, you can use the crop tool over here, but this is another topic and actually you can check my other video where I'm talking about this crop tool and how to use it with all the different kind of features and functions. But in this video, we're not going to talk about the crop tool. We will be talking about the image canvas size. So yeah, stay tuned for this video. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a like. Also consider subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it very much. And if you're still going to have any comments or questions, leave in the comment section below. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and work with this image. As you can see, we have this beautiful lake and mountains on the background. I really like this picture. So this is a 4K image. I actually have resized it before. Original was about 20 megapixels, but I have resized it to fit on a 4K screen, which is 3840 by 2160. But what if I want to resize it to a smaller size? For example, I want to make it a full HD 1920 by 1080 to make it fit on a YouTube thumbnail or any other website that's going to require a certain amount of pixels for the image. So let's go ahead and do it right now. To resize this image to a certain amount of pixels, you just got to go to the image, then go to canvas size, or you can also press a shortcut on the keyboard L plus Ctrl plus C. Let's go ahead and click on it. And when you see this window over here, it's actually showing in inches. This is the size in inches if you would have printed it on the actual print paper. But since we're working with it online and we need to upload it online, we don't need to print it. It will be a lot easier to actually uh, change it to pixels. You can uh, go to pixels and this is how you can change it to a certain amount of pixels. As you can see, the current size is 3840 by 2160. This is the original size. And if I would like to change it, let's say I want to change it to 2560 by 1440, which will make it a 2K or a Quad HD. You can also change it to different options, like you can change it to percentage. If you do it to percentage, you can see that it actually, you can set it to percentage. For example, if you want to make it 50% smaller, you just put 50 here, 50 here. So it will make it a 50% smaller image than the original one. And what I would like to show to you today is this anchor point here. So basically what this means, when it's going to be you shrinking this image, because we're going from the 4K image, let's say we're going to a full HD image. So that's going to be way less pixels. Actually, it's going to be four times less pixels than in 4K. Somehow it's going to be shrinked down, right? So some pixels will be cut out and some portion of the canvas will be also deleted. What this anchor point means is it actually shows what portion of the image will be cut off or what portion of the image will be deleted. So for example, right now we're right in the center here, which means the image will stay the same in the center and everything on the sides will be cut out. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. So I'll press OK. And you also get a warning window here saying that the new canvas size is smaller than the current canvas size so there will be some clipping right okay so let's proceed and there we go so you can see that it clipped quite a bit because we went from 4k to full hd if we would have went to let's say 2k we would still have more left so let's go ahead and do it again and for quicker access to this panel all we have to do is just press ctrl plus l plus c and it's going to bring up this window i would like to do it 2560 by 1440 because then it's not going to clip it as much as uh, full hd let's say i want to clip it but i want to leave the portion of the image to the left in the picture and i want to clip the picture on the right so it's, i'm just going to cut off this size so what you have to do here you just gotta press on the left one and as you can see so this is going to be your anchor point and whatever pixel is going to be cut out they're going to be cut off from this side from the right side Okay, let's try it right now. And we got the same warning. There we go. As you can see, it has left this anchor point right here, but everything else has been clipped. Like it's been clipped on the bottom, it's been clipped on the right side, it's been clipped from the top. 
but everything on the left has been stayed the same. So this is one way you can do it. And of course you can go ahead and do it the same exact way if you want to just do this corner right here. For example, I want to just leave these stones here. So if I want to do that, I'll just clip it like this. And there we go. So I only got a picture of the stones on the lakeshore. So this is one way of doing it if you need to clip an image. So another cool feature about this canvas size window is a percentage. If you, for example, want to shrink it down by like 10%, so you just got to put 90%, and then you just got to specify the anchor point and click OK. There we go. So the picture has been clipped by 10%. As you can see, we don't have stones here anymore. I'm just going to show it to you right now. There we go. So this is how it looked before. This is how it looks right now. Before, after, before, after, before, after. So yeah, this is how you do it. And I think it actually worked out pretty good for 10%. So this specific matter works really good when you need to clip an image and you know exactly how you want it to look. It's not as visual as if you would use the crop method because here you can see what you're actually cropping. But if you know exactly what you need to do, for example, if you're working with, uh, with a lot of pictures that have the same size and you need to clip them one by one and they're going to be exactly the same, this is going to be the easiest method how you can do it. You just punch in the number and it's going to clip it to exact same size. Yeah, this is it. This is what I wanted to show you guys. If you find this helpful and interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.